So really, like, the main thing I'm concerned with is um, collective action problems. I kind of just want to, like, throw out or at the very least reconsider all of political theory. And I'm not super well read. I'm like an amateur. So, you know, maybe I'm overstating this. But like, I feel like every single political question should just be like really concerned with how do you resolve collective action problems? So you've got like a bunch of agents and they all have conflicting desires. And um, you've also got to like deal with the fact that like, it has to communicate effectively. And that's like a really big problem. So first of all, like the problem is, is like left and right are like really vague. William Gill's his, his article, The Emptiness of the Left, is really, really good about this. Like, the left is supposedly about equality, but what do you actually mean by equality? And the right is, like, about hierarchy, but also freedom, and also, like, you know, not being interfered with. And so, like, they're not, like, these fleshed-out ideologies. They're just these groupings that sustain themselves from free, like, momentum. So free market communism is basically really a, at the heart of it. It's a recognition that like markets without a commons, and this is something I think I think you like you can like really be as reductionistic as like markets even without like something like reputation. It just doesn't work. Like privatizing everything, it just doesn't work. You get into just bizarre like fairyland where you know like it's it's those dumb like ANCAP parodies where you know like you have to like fucking like pay to use like a pavement or something it's it's absurd but yeah like, so even even stuff like positive externalities like reputation um so i think one example i'd use is something like the silk road that was that website which unfortunately got shut down but it was like people would use like bitcoin to buy uh, drugs and stuff and right. um they like the way it worked was like it had a reputation system because you know they couldn't like it's it's fucking illegal so like mm -hmm. you can't enforce it so the way they forced it was um they use reputation and from what I've seen it works quite well and that's like that's like a positive externality um, that you know can't really be captured and becomes like part of this common and in a way it's like very communistic um, because this is like information that you know no one can really own and um, potentially like the utility of it is incredibly high you know if an individual like privatized that information and only they had access to it it would be very low va value but if like everyone had access to it like the potential value from it is like really really massive i'm not even talking financially like i bet there's like sociologists out there and economists who'd be like really really who would do some really fascinating stuff by like analyzing you know just reputation um systems on these um platforms that's like you know the most obvious example but you know there's like there's like other stuff like um i think the notion of like efficient markets they require like institute like so you've got like you know this perfect abstract theory of what a market is and like in that theory it works like really well and then in reality when the rubber hits the road you know there's like all these problems and i think actually um i think joseph stiglitz has written some good stuff even though he's like a left liberal but like i think he's written some really good stuff on like problems of information asymmetry and then there's also problems with information processing. Those problems don't really go away, even if, you know, we all like put computers in our head. Just because, you know, there are like limits to like what even supercomputers can process in terms of information. And so I'm not going to say like, you know, write out policy prescriptions for how a transhuman market will work, but it is hypothetical that you know even in such a future where like everyone was incredibly rational like you'd still need institutions to deal with problems around information asymmetry or like you know negative externalities and stuff like that the problem is that, like privatizing that sort of stuff like it can work but at the same time it's it's like really difficult and you get into weird incentive stuff and also at a certain point it's like like why even bother like why not just like do it as like a non-profit thing and also and also finally um and this is like my really really like meme thing that i'm I haven't, I haven't told anyone, but like, you know, maybe I'll unleash this to like totally destroy some dumb shit liberals. But like, so there's this thing called the efficient market hypothesis, and I might be getting this wrong. I read about it a couple of days ago, and like, I was kind of out of it when I read it. But like, the efficient market hypothesis is basically, um, it's like this is the state of the market when like, you know, everyone has perfect information and processing capacities, and um, if you know anything about arguments about like the knowledge problem or the calculation problem of like the 20th century, you know, like those things are like really impossible and if like they did kind of exist economics becomes really weird and so my my like sort of trolley answer is is like as you approach like an efficient market and also you know just because like shit like automation becomes you're like you're like yeah you can't really like have an efficient market without automation but it's like 
you approach an efficient market where like suddenly like everyone's like super smart and super rational it's like why not you know just like do communism then <laughs> like why why bother with like you know prices and shit if like everyone's super smart and like you can send like perfect information like i i like the way i can see prices and like the reason they're useful is like they compress you know all this like complex information into this you know simple signal um mm -hmm. so you know you can make assessments based on that and when you don't need to do that anymore do you actually need prices and you know maybe i'm getting it wrong i'm okay. sure like someone who actually understands mathematics will yell at me after this but the fucking the like sort of corporatist shift after world war ii and also during to like massive corporations and mm -hmm. the sort of what was required in terms of like social organization and like training of people and like the ideas that came along with that i think it's really given us a distorted view of what left and right are and i think there's something i could dedicate my little life to or at the very least like the next decade it would be like trying to really undo those things because i think um i think there's like a lot there mm -hmm.